Latin America trade grows as China and the United States are locked in a tariff war. We will take a look at the region's relationship with the two largest economies in the world. Hello, I'm Arnand Naidu and this is The Heat. Economic ties between China and Latin America have grown exponentially over the last couple of decades. The recent trade war between China and the United States has helped boost this partnership even more. But there are questions as to the long-term benefits and risks of this situation. CGTN's Paolo Cabral reports from Sao Paulo. Vast natural resources and the big consumer market are among the big appeals of Latin America to China, while Latin Americans see in the Chinese an insatiable recipient for their commodities like grains, meats and minerals, and an important source of much-needed investment. Over the last couple of decades, this mutual interest led to a significant rise in trade and economic relations between these two sides of the world. Trade between between China and Latin America has searched research by the Atlantic Council a think tank shows that it has risen from 12 billion US dollars in 2000 to almost 224 billion in 2016 China is now the main trading partner of important economies here like Brazil and Peru the Chinese also have growing investments here in Latin American countries, particularly in the area of infrastructure. And the trade war between China and the United States may be opening up even more space for the Chinese here in the region. China is already taking the United States place here uh, in, in Latin America. Um, I, I, I think the United States will start to be concerned about it. Uh, but China has some advantage. I mean, uh, most of the Chinese companies in Latin America are state-owned companies, right? Uh, the Americans, they have to convince private companies to invest uh, in Latin America. So I think it's, uh, there's an advantage that the Chinese have. In the short term, the trade war is seen as beneficial to Latin American exporters. It helped Brazil, for example, to sell more soybeans to China and at better prices. But it's still unclear if the short-term gains are worth the risks of a trade war that could disrupt trade and the economy in the long term. China has become Brazil's main trading partner in 2009 and also has growing investments here in the country, particularly in the energy sector. But the Chinese are also very interested in investing in transportation here in Brazil and in other Latin American countries as part of the One Belt, One World initiative, which aims uh, to create a vast global network to service the continuous growth of Chinese global trade. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo.